Hi, I'm making a lunchtime smoothie. I must admit I'm new to smoothies. This is my second week on them and I'm just using them for a breakfast drink. But I decided since I'm alone today and I can eat whatever I want, I've got the bug to create a green smoothie for lunch. And here's my ingredients. And they're most, mostly all of them are from my garden. We have here a ripe banana. You really want your bananas to be ripe because that makes them sweeter. We have, okay, we've got some apple. You can see the apple. I put a tomato in. I'm also putting in some marigolds from my garden. And the Swiss chard, bok choy, lots of basil, and lots of parsley from my garden as well. You might want to just use spinach, as a lot of people recommend, because it is a milder green than these greens. But I like vegetables, so I'm going pretty much cold turkey here with the, with the hefty vegetables. Okay, let me start blending. First, I'm going to put a little bit of liquid in, and the liquid I'm choosing is some lemonade that's mostly lemons. So I just put about a, a cup full of that into my 1950s, 1960s Osterizer blender, which has been working great. And I'm just hoping it holds up. At first I thought it was really loud, but now that I hear some of those Vitamixes, I'm going to keep this one. I think, it's a, I think it's a keeper. And it's so cute. Okay, here we go. I'm putting my stuff in here. I'm going to start with a banana. Okay, my banana is in my mix. Now I'm going to start putting my other ingredients in. And I'm just throwing them in. Throw, throw, throw. I'm trying to do it one-handed because I haven't figured out how to use this machine and take pictures at the same time. I love the idea of putting marigolds and I also have a few nasturtiums in there too because I like them. I've got a bunch of apple here. I've just slightly cut it up, thinking that it might go through the blender a little bit better. Let's see how this works. Maybe I have the wrong sequence here. I'm not sure. But this is a good blender, and I think it'll work. Now, some people supposedly put the entire their entire apple in, core and all. I stopped short of doing that. I, yeah, I guess maybe I'm just too new at this to know what, whether that's a good idea or not. And I have some ginger in there. And the last thing I'm going to put in is something that I think is really valuable in a, in a smoothie. And that is chia seeds. Because what happens with the chia seeds is they become gel-like and they add a lot of nutrition as well as fiber to your smoothie and it will make them it will make them very thick and they will fill it, it will act to fill, fill you up more more quickly than usual okay and my final ingredient that I'm going to be putting in is my own homemade yogurt and I'm going to put in a few spoonfuls of it here on the top. I have to put a plug in for trying your own homemade yogurt because it is very tasty. Much better than the store-bought and probably maybe half the price. And easy, easy, easy. There we go. There's my ingredients. Okay, let's see what happens here with my old Osterizer blender. Here we go. Yeah, it's working fine.
little bit. I think it might be a little bit overtaxed. I'm just going to turn it off for a second. And I'm going to reconfigure this stuff. That probably is helpful. And turn it on again. done. Now you can get a fancier blender which I'm presuming will actually get rid of those tiny chunks that I'm sure are still in this smoothie but I sort of like that chunky effect so it really doesn't bother me enough to invest in yet another thing that's going to take up valuable counter space. So let me try it and see what it tastes like. Hold on. Here I am again. Oh, there we are. Here's my smoothie in all its glory. See the little chunks still in it? That's okay as far as I'm concerned. Now let's give it a taste test. Wow. That is I think that's everything it should be. It tastes very good. Yes, you can taste the greens in it, but are they bad? I don't think so. I even put a little bit of sage in there. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was a good idea. But I can see that these could become a great way to have a meal. How quick was that? The blender cleanup is really not a big deal. I've got protein in there, I've got lots of vegetables, I've got my fruits, I've got liquid, I've got nuts and seeds, and I've got yogurt.